Hey gang, Toadie here. Find It Mod 2 by Sway. 11 tips, are you ready? We're gonna get into it. There will be a bonus tip for the Move It Mod that I recently found out at the end of the video. Stick around, let's go! Find it. Down here, I'm going to use Resize It to make it bigger, but don't worry, that's not a tip. I won't cheat you out of all 11 good tips. Do you see how some of these Steam Workshop icons are blue and some aren't? The blue icons mean that this was generated by a mod rather than being something that you've subscribed to. For example, most of mine are probably generated by the non-terrain conforming props mod. Speaking of the Steam Workshop, if you go back to that same symbol and you just right click it, it will bring you to the Steam Workshop page for that item. If you are playing a game where you are not unlocking everything, so we will take this university for example, here it is in the normal schooling menu, and here it is in the find it menu, we can't place it yet, right? So if you get out of here and go to find it in your options menu, you can use this unlock button, just press it, just leave it, have it pressed once, then if you go into either find it and retype the thing or go into the education menu, it allows you to place the building as you would want to. Placed, great, but now if we go back into our find it options in our options menu, turn unlock all off again, it hasn't ruined any of our milestones. So I can't place the university anymore. I can't place the university anymore. It's a good way of getting one single asset kind of cheatily open, but not ruining your milestone progress. Hey, if you're learning new things, give this video a thumbs up. It tells YouTube to show the video to other people as well so they can learn too. Have you ever found these in Find It and you've been putting them down and you're like, hey, why isn't a bison existing there? It's because these are markers. These are used for when you're making maps, not for when you're playing the actual game. If you want to place an animal out of Find It, you need to find an animal prop. You can have your Find It page sorted by either relevance or by recent DLs for downloads. Recent downloads should be straightforward. The simplest way of putting it is that it will show you the most recent things that you have downloaded from Steam closest to the top. If you are sorting by relevance and you start to type something in, it will check for this word or these words in the author's name first before it shows you the ones that have that word in the description that pops up. So all of these up here are bad idea. I never know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. We'll probably have some bad peanut and even some bad pixie design. But after we get through all of the mod authors that have the word bad in their names, then it will move to items that have that word in their description or name. So bad in badgers. So six is my favorite number for some reason, and that means I have to tell you my favorite tip. If you go into this menu here and you click show search tabs, I can't express how happy this makes me. So we will search for something in here. Let's just search for prop, right? Okay, we don't care about props, but we want to leave this open because maybe we'll come back to props. You can just open another tab. How amazing is that? You can grab your toad park, leave that open. Then if you want to grab your rectangle gang, you can leave that open with some Gangnam style dancers, sure. And you can get, I believe it was six total? It's eight total, my bad. You can get a total of eight tabs searching here. I'm willing to bet these eight tabs cost less performance on your computer than eight Chrome tabs. When you are typing more than one word in the search bar, you are telling it to find you something that contains both of those words. So I've typed big suburbs with nothing else other than a space, and it will only give me items that have both the words big and suburbs in it. You can switch around the order of the words. It doesn't matter. It is still searching for big and suburbs. However, if you want it to search for the word big or the word suburbs, you just need to add a plus sign before it. So now it is showing me anything that has the word big or the word suburb in it. 
Ah, this has the word big in bigger, and this here has the word suburb in it from the suburban water tower, but not the word big. You can exclude terms from your search. So let's say I want to find all of my parking assets, but I don't want my big parking lot assets that you're seeing down here. If you type exclamation mark followed by the term that you want to exclude, so exclamation mark BPL, if you scroll down, none of the big parking lot assets will be in here. This asset type panel can be turned on in the settings and if you want it to be somewhere else on your screen, you just right click it. So press right click, hold it and drag it to be wherever you want it to be. You can give items in Find It custom tags by clicking on this here and typing in. This is going to be my favorite. I'm going to press enter on the keyboard and it has a custom tag of favorite. Let's do it for a couple more. So let's put this one also in my favorite. Enter and the Death Star, of course, going to be a favorite. And just to demonstrate, if you have existing tags already, you can do this and it will add it up here. If you want to only show the items that are using that tag that you just used, you can simply type the tag in the search bar and that will work. But if the word favorite happens to be in the description of another item somewhere, it will pop up here as well. So what you can do to make sure that it is only showing you the tags, you can just put a pound sign in front of it. Yes. That is a pound sign for us old folks, and it will show you only things that have the custom tag of favorite. Let's give something a custom tag of the word prop, which we know is going to be in so many other descriptions, right? Just to demonstrate, I will type prop up here and it'll show me so many things, but if I put the pound sign in front of it, it will show me only prop. Another thing you can do with custom tags is when you see these items that have just like the black square for their thumbnail, you can give them the custom tag of bad underscore thumbnail and the game will try to generate a thumbnail for them. Ah uh, yes, and you see it does have a bit of a thumbnail here, but because my background is that color, it's difficult to see, but at least it's not this giant ugly black square again. So let's go bad thumbnail. Let's see if there's, oh, that one worked very well. Now that has a proper thumbnail. I recently learned this Move It Mod tip from the man, the myth himself, Cuboid. Have you ever been trying to move something, usually a network, and it will like go up the hill? Whereas I really, I just want this node to go like into this little mountain, but it goes up the hill and then you have to press control H and bring it down and it's a whole thing, right? Well, let me just undo this for a minute with control Z, which is handy enough on its own. Do you see on the bottom right here, there's this option that screams at you and you can press follow terrain and have it no longer follow the terrain. So now when you try to move this node, it just stays where it was. If your nodes are fussing about going up and down the terrain, just turn that off. I do hope you have learned something new today. Please do let me know in the comments below if you already knew all of this. On the screen, there is a video that is five Move It Mod tips in under four minutes. I think that's a pretty good deal. You should probably click on that video to watch next. And guys, I will catch you next time.